Hello, Toddy here again. I've just called in to see Andy. We're going to go in and check out his shed to have a bit of yarn to him. See what he's got to say. Hey, champ, how are you? Yeah, good, Andy. Yourself? Good, mate. Good. Tell us a little bit about yourself and your story. Um, well, I've got a bit of a, I suppose it's a bad habit, you'd call it. But, um, oh, look, I've been on bikes my whole life. Um, I've had all sorts of bikes. I was riding the Harleys years ago. But I always have a soft spot for all the Jap stuff. Cool. Um, I've been riding from the age of 12. When I was growing up, um, virtually what's in this garage is what was available. Four cylinder Jap stuff, no matter what it was. Yep. Yeah, it was just unreal. Uh, what's your favourite road or where would you like to ride if you um, yeah, go for a ride these days? Mate, I, I don't think you can go um, far wrong with up over gingers and... Yep. Um, I don't think you're going to find a better road. It's over the mountain. It's just un uncomparable. It's got everything you ask for. Everything you want, yeah. That's it. Yep. Uh, what type of bikes are you passionate about these days? Mate, I'm mainly into Jap muscle stuff. Which bike in your collection do you love to ride today? There's a couple of bikes that I really... Um, look, there's the West Cooley would probably have to be one of the best all-round bikes that I've got. Uh, what bike's the oldest in your shed here? Um, the oldest one in here now would probably be the the Triumph Triple. Over the back there. Um, yeah, the Triumph. Um, I do have a, a couple of early, I've got an early Honda, 69 model Honda. Yeah, the Triumph Triple, that's the Triumph, that's, that would be the oldest thing kicking around in the shed here. Okay, cool. Right. Would you give us a walkthrough and just tell us a bit about the couple of the bikes and, um, yeah, sort of the interesting things and facts about them and... Yeah, right. what what you like about it? Yeah, that's that's an original bike that's never had, never been um really, really touched. What about the one next to it? That's a that's an Eddie Lawson. That's a factory bike. Um, bike's seen a lot of race history. That's got original paint. Uh, yeah. We've got a, a Z9. It's a seventy six. It's also an original paint bike. Never really been messed around with too much. One here. That's a bit of a rear bird. It's a Honda seven fifty four automatic. Uh, they're a two speed auto. Oh, well, we've got a XJ900 Seeker, a great all-around bike also, shaft drive. Got a Z1000, um, great all-around bike, uh, but the bike's an original bike. And it, it's a beautiful bike too. Yeah, cool. Yeah, very good. You know, we've got a late model. I've got, got, got the last of the single cam um, Hondas, the 77 there also. Right. It's virtually a, a brother bike to that auto. Right over. This is the interesting one. Yep, this is an XS 1100. That's an X-Castrol six-hour bike. I've done a full restoration on that bike. Yeah. It's a factory white bike. The next one is your Wes Cooley. Yeah. Um, again, the Suzuki's version of the um of the, the GS 1000S. So that's probably my one of my most favourite all-round bikes. Next one there, we've got a GS uh, 850G. You're right. Shaft drive. I fully restored that bike. And the bike just has bags of torque. It's um. Got the close ratio gearbox, so it's all just down low, you know. Okay. Yeah, that's just an 1100G shaft drive. Um, that's a really pretty old bike. Again, such a beautiful touring bike. Um, heaps of power. They sort of ticked all the boxes. They ch had this design for a lot of years. GS 1100E, that's a predecessor to the Katana. Right. Um, mate. Again, original bike. That bike has not been painted, has not been touched in any way. Um, it's like a brand new bike. Yeah, yeah, it looks it. Yeah, it's like a brand new motorbike. This thing is probably be one of the most nastiest bikes living in the shed. It's an old GS thousand E. It had race history. It was um, it was actually in the Dunlop family. Right. Um. And the bike, I've got photos of the bike. It's had, it's got five riders on it. Yeah? Yeah. They, all it was used, basically, was running around a racetrack, picking up guys off dead bikes, you know? And it's a very, very fast motorbike. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's a Zeke. It's an A50G. I bought that bike brand new. And I sold it. I bought it brand new. I went to the expo up the Gold Coast on it. And I sold it. And I bought it back three years ago from Kempsey. Oh, fair good. Yeah. And, um, yeah. Yeah. So same gonna, bike. Same bike. Yeah, that's an old CB450. Um... It's a really fun bike. It's the closest thing to an old Pommy twin that the Japs would have produced. Oh, now that there, that's that, that's a really rare bike. That's a RE5 Suzuki Rotary. That's undergoing a full restoration. Yeah, they were going to chop it up and make a cafe racer out of it. X race bike. It's a um, CB1100F. 
But um, yeah, this thing here, it's a bit of an old pig. Oh, no. Well, we thank you very much for showing us your collection today. Yeah. We, we really appreciate it, and uh, thanks for uh, letting me come along and uh, check it all out. Yeah. I've got 300 helmets too, but that's <laughs> another day. <laughs> Yeah, can I ask the MotoFest viewers just before we go, tell us what your favourite bike in this shed would have been. Leave your comment below and, um, yeah, tell us. Yep, no worries. Thanks again, Andy, and we'll talk to you again soon. Anytime, buddy. Thank you. See you, Chan.